Okay, let's pick up where we left off with this Australia example, recalling the similarity to this example in Palau Aki, Indonesia. So uh, raised edges of just solid rock. And uh, this one in Palau Aki, here's a slightly different uh, image, different year, 2010. And we see the raised edges, uh, presumably stone or rock or maybe coral, um, similar to this. And again, this one with this interesting object here, potentially, and possible other paths as well. Uh, but the idea is this is some kind of strange path. And another look at it. So uh, Australia, we're going to uh, give a quick tour to this coast. I've already given several tours of this stretch of coast in Australia, so I'll keep this one a little bit briefer and uh, just same idea here this um, stone raised stone edges of this uh, of possible paths maybe in the area so like this something sculpting the coast and multiple paths potentially multiple pass throughs okay and then we also have this example in Australia let's not forget about this one so we'll take a look at that one after we look at this stretch of coast. So it's up here in Australia and place marks on. It's this general area right here from like here to here and uh, all along the coast really, but we're just going to focus on this area. So again, our example is what right here? These stone or uh, earthy uh, ridges, might even be coral, and a couple different looks, 2020, 13, not much change to it really, okay, and the uh, note also, the thin path down the middle here, potentially this guy right there. All right, and it should be cons considered alongside all the other coastal uh, features. Uh, this possible path here, uh, possibly natural as well, just like a natural headland. So this is an odd look for a natural headland, I would say. Um, and some other brief examples. Ah, uh, this is kind of a sketchy one possible something along this direction, but not a strong example. And then this is a similar thing, like similar type of feature. This one's interesting. Um, I wonder whether the artificial sweep went like this, like along the edge of it, and then another sweep like along this edge. And it's not, uh, that's if, uh, if there's anything artificial going on at all. Um, if it is natural, like this thing here, then um, it's interesting that this one has like a bare middle, like raised edges and a recessed middle portion. So that's interesting and I don't quite know how to explain that, but, uh, and then we have possible other stuff like right here. This is where that image was, uh, just raised edge here. So that would be like a path there. A little, you can kind of see it there as well. Could be natural, I guess. Okay, what else? Um, possible uh, edge of a tool path here. You know, something zipping along the coast, making edits, and all these grid lines are interesting. Okay, let's skip those for now. So, not 
not a great example. Maybe I'm referring to a different year, different photo. On a on a different note, um, I've noticed some of my place marks disappearing. <laughs> I know that may sound like crazy or paranoid, but some places which I'm fairly certain I place marked, they just seem to be dropping off. <laughs> so um, uh, either don't delete my old place marks, just keep them archived somewhere, or uh, or I have them all up on my Dropbox. Not much to see right here, but uh, here's another like tongue of coral or whatever. Here's another one that's got like that uh, arc shape to it, but it's not bare in the middle or uh, it doesn't have the raised edges. The, the bare middle portion could just be from uh, hydrodynamics or the way the water flows like back and forth and like eroded it eroded away a portion of the middle for whatever reason just physics stuff um, that could be and we have these to consider um, so mm, protruding thing here interesting the possible linear thing at the edge of a sweep like something like that and this one seeming to possibly continue on land somehow or this may be part of an old river or something this may be runoff from an old river potentially okay Possible gap there, and maybe I think I should probably just move on because I already covered this area, anyways. So, so we have stuff like this. Um, in a certain year, it's pretty clear this thing here along the coast so it should be considered with these so like the natural trajectory of the rock maybe or I can't find that one year where there's good resolution but it might be like a former river path or something or just natural streaks in the rock and here, okay, this is actually a decent one. Don't have a place mark here, but okay, so we have this bit of coast, which maybe I'm saying maybe have some type of artificial sweep going on. And then here we do see like a faint edge there. Like if you look closely, like along here and possibly right there as well. So we do see some kind of, hopefully my eyes aren't making up patterns, but some kind of uh, very faint uh, indication of a linear something going on there. Possibly. Uh, all right. I think I was thinking of this one a second ago. So this is a similar thing to the first example with the raised edges in the hollow middle. So we've got these raised edges. There we go, good photo. And so yeah, this may be like a former river or something. Like we do see the river here. So it's about the same width as the river. So that would probably make sense. Assuming that is if that the river is natural. <laughs> um, so, I mean, this could be a long-standing river whose banks petrified into this pattern. You know what I mean? So that could be what we're seeing uh, further back along the coast and more, more of the possible river bank continuing. So whatever that is. All right, let's, um, let's end this little uh, area here streaks there okay and um, 
Let's jump right back to the images. And we have uh, this straight thing. I'll just remind you of this real quick. Even, whoops, even like this bit of rock right there, um, possibly looking, uh, I mean, it looks fairly natural, but there's a chance it's not, I would say. Um, and some of these cross hatches are uh, like this, even. Um, I could go either way on this one as well, but uh, that's what it looks like in Google Earth. And let's go take a look. I believe it's in Western Australia somewhere. Nope. What is that? Shouldn't get distracted. I don't know, some hexagons, who cares? All right. Um, so all along the coast we have, I forget what it's called, like Western Victoria, something or other. It's like a rocky terrain, I guess. And, uh, okay, now I remember, it's up here. So straight canal. Um, possibly like right there, and then these, maybe natural, no, it's somewhere here, here we go. So here's the, the prominent one, pretty, uh, pretty stark, possible artificial thing. And should be considered with a possible this as well. I've kind of already covered this area, but yeah, it's looking like both. To me, it's looking like both natural rock strata or rock patterns and uh, in combination with this gap phenomenon, this artificial zip, like this abrupt gap thing there. So something doing this. Zip, and also this, and we would be talking about multiple pass-throughs and possible like just out this way and possibly like out that way. See that? Just something tracing a path, potentially. So that is what that is. And we've also got Let's see, check out a couple more of these. Quasi similar, kind of a straight edge here. Somewhat, if I can get the place mark out of the way. And maybe, I could see that being natural as well. Another one here, see that? Pretty similar thing. So it could just be differential erosion of natural rock variation or it could be you know like these rock patterns like hopefully yeah like this streaky rock could be like just portions of that of this underlying bedrock which happened to be straight for a while like this and then they erode like that so that's seemingly a good explanation for for some of that the straight grooves up there and then again if if someone's like a master of mimicry then they know they know to make the surrounding area look a certain way in order to to muddy the water or confuse their methods I, I don't know just thinking trying to think outside the box here all right so whatever's Let's move on. So that, that, pretty cool. Okay, so Spain, we have this area which has a very clean sweep mark or uh, artificial mark. It would appear um, potentially either dredging or a former beach ridge. And I'll give you a look at that. And then here, further down the coast, we have stuff like this so that may be natural or 
dredging. Um, I think dredging is probably less likely than natural. And there's also the artificial possibility or artificial weird terraforming. So um, yeah, let's head over here. Um, one second, actually. Toolpath dredging. So yeah, we're up here. Where is this? Uh, this part of Spain. Uh, this looks like the southern coast of Spain. And somewhere over here. I forget. Where was I a second ago? Uh, okay. Crap, I lost my spot. Okay, right here. So yeah, whatever city this is, whatever area, we've got some kind of long, uh, where do we first see it? Like right here, a uh, very regular streak of rock or uh, beach material. This could even be deposited like from above, like dropped down from a boat or something like that or dredged up, yeah. Uh, we've got multiple former beach ridges, maybe, or like former coastline. That seems somewhat likely. And there it is. Um, let's look back in time a little bit, get a couple different looks at it. 2002, can't really see it, unfortunately. 2003, looking roughly the same. So, yeah, whatever it is. I'm looking at this now, that could be similar. This may be for navigation, like just for depth to maintain depth. And then this one going like around like this. Mm. What about, uh, okay, what about, what other place marks? Edge of toolpath, what am I talking about? Okay, so I think I'm talking about like, comes in, does the sweep and then out here. And then this would be the edge here of that, like this is the other edge, I guess. Maybe like a circular maneuver here, something like that. This may be modern just trail or something. All right. Again, with the uh, kind of straight edges of these uh, arcs or sweeps, the straight uh, linear edge here, kind of awkward. Okay, place marks back on. I got a bunch of them, I guess. Uh, so long linear path. Let's see what do we got going on. Uh, not quite sure what I mean here. Um, here, yeah, definitely like something like going like this doesn't look natural. So either modern access channel or something like that, you know, modern pipe maybe. Uh, hard to say. Rectangular marking, where? Okay, so we have a lot of rectangular markings here. That could be anything, uh, including modern stuff. 
so um who knows who knows what this is maybe fishing stuff or maybe whatever i don't know gibberish good look at it there not sure what we're looking at this look like scalloped or angular coast there and here's some Here's some like real fishing traps, I would say. These are like legit fishing traps or some type of legit device, modern device, resembling the heart at the end of the line thing, I think. This edge, this edge may be modern work. I hope so, otherwise it's pretty obvious. Hmm. A lot of these edges are very straight and mechanical, so that could be modern work, or it could be some type of sculpting. This hard to see what I'm talking about here. Maybe this long faint path parallel to shore. So you kind of see this right here. See that faint path. The coloration is not great at all, but or the contrast. But you kind of see like here. Mm, So, possible weirdness there. Okay. That's kind of a weird curve there, yeah. This is kind of a weird curve there, yeah. Exit path, entry path, possibly. Hmm, potentially. Or natural, I don't know. Long faint path continues. Yeah, just this stripe here. See if I can get a better view of it in a different year. Just a faint stripe. Could be former coastline, I suppose. It is parallel to the coast. type of thing. This is interesting. Could be any number of things. The sculpty line. And then even here, maybe. Tough to say. Edges of wide maneuver. I think I mean like here and here maybe. Or here and here. of an angular thing there. Okay, here's, I had an image of this one. So this linear gap underwater, kind of. Right here. Try and get a clear look at it. So there we go. Mmm, that's toughy. It's not just one, it's like this, and then this, and Maybe this. So it could be the natural trajectory of the rock. You see this like continuing like that. It's very difficult to say. Similar stuff over here. So looking like it might be natural rock patterns or or it's just that the whole, the whole area is more artificial than I'm giving it credit for. You know what I mean? So it might, uh, might be like heavy, heavy sculpting, like not just little maneuvers here and there, but like the whole entire area, possibly. Ugh, it's, it's tough. It's sticky territory. All right. Um, 
I think I've exhausted most of my place marks in the area. Just hit a couple more here. Sorry, my computer's lagging. Mm, all right, mm, maybe. I don't quite know what I'm talking about there. Over here, something. It's an interesting little curve here, I'll say that. Yeah, with possible continuation there. Some interesting little lines and angles. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll check these out and then bounce over to a different spot. Short gap, perpendicular to coast. I don't know what I'm referring to. I guess just um, like I'm envisioning this as like a entry point for whatever did this little gouge or bite out of the coast here, potentially out this way. Um, and the, the parallel rock patterns, interesting stuff. Okay, so to summarize in this area, this Long streak is interesting. Possibly dredging, possibly whatever's. Ooh, hang on, what is this? This is a fairly, I wonder if this is modern man-made, like this, uh, this long finger here. Is it somewhat awkward, I would say? Hmm. See this long finger here? I, I suppose that could be natural. It's just striking and very long. Interesting. Okay. Doesn't look like a pier or anything. Maybe it's just like a some deposited material to like a, a wave breaker or whatever it's called, I forget. Maybe similar thing there. Hmm. Tough call. Maybe some lines here, interesting contours. And this nice oh, that's an interesting detail. Kind of skipped over that, but this rectangular patched out area. Er, 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 er. This is certainly artificial. The only question is, is it modern stuff or not? No real changes since 2002 for whatever that's worth. Um, and of course this similar thing over here. So this could be artificial weirdness as well. Potentially, or fishing, or whatever, any number of modern things. Okie dokie, let's uh, cruise on out of this area and go to. Okay, let's discuss this phenomenon of thin strips of land. Um, so. It occurs on lakes, it occurs um, like inland and also coastal um, ocean areas. So here's one in China, here's one in Russia, also these as well. Um, these ones looking less, less suspicious, this one looking uh, more suspicious, but also there's a good chance it's natural. This one in Mexico, and then this one in Lake Winnipeg, Canada, along with 
this possible thing with this straight feature here, like this kind of an angular shape for an odd shape for an island, wouldn't you say? Like uh, a bay there, a bay there, and then just er, and then the straight line here, close up of it there, just ooh, <laughs> really? It's a little, little unnatural looking. So, like this right here, that's fairly natural looking to my eye. But this one, ooh, just just a little unnatural looking. Could be coincidence or happenstance or whatever's. So, and then this linear thing is similar to this thing in Nova Scotia, Canada. But uh, let's go up to that uh, Canada, or I'm sorry, China Lake first. Kanka Lake. I guess it's right on the border between China and Russia. Or it might be Uzbekistan, not Russia. We'll check it out. I think it is Russia. Okay. Um, okay, anyways. Um, it's this. So presumably this was like the natural coast and then uh, this uh, area back here, um, I don't know, it was like, a, or the, like, this was like an existing lake, and then this slowly but surely, this coastline has uh, receded back towards that lake and uh, cut into it or something like that, some kind of confluence of uh, events which led to a thin, um, stable bit of land here, and some modern stuff going on. So this is this is another one where I, I don't have like super strong evidence that this is faked or phony phoniness um, possible weird lines here mm. I, it's just my my instinct and again instinct is wrong quite often even though it's right quite often so we have to keep that in check possible weird uh, maneuver there or just modern channel tough to say ooh this is a little weird see that so is this, is this this curve here is that like a modern uh, dredging that's sculpting this see like this around here could be modern upkeep And these, uh, yeah, I have a tough time on this one, but I could envision natural explanations and the uh, artificial weirdness deal. Okay, so let's move on to uh, what was next. one in Russia. We kind of looked at this in the previous video, but um, check it out one more time. So yeah, this part of Russia right here and just a little awkward looking. And we could imagine that if these two joined up and like stabilized these two spits, then uh, they would form something similar to this. So maybe this is just where a spit from this landmass and this island over here, um, like two different spits joined up, and then over time they uh, kind of evened out into one continuous pattern. That seems somewhat likely. 
possible old grid, although that might be this just modern stuff. And interesting shape to the coast, like nice clean contours here, whether that's uh, artificial or natural or modern, I couldn't tell you. Uh, yeah, there's that. Just checking out the surrounding landscape. Okay. So these could be natural or mimicked natural. I could go for either. Because, I mean, natural spits do certainly exist. We can see them form in real time or over a fairly short time lapse. Just a couple years, even just a couple months. It's interesting. See, this is like a natural um, stretch of land from an island to the mainland. It looks like more natural. But then, like, in that image I was showing, this image that's, like, less natural looking. I would say. Okay, um, let's do this Mexico example now. Yeah, let's do it. So it is in this portion of Mexico right here, or thereabouts. And there we go. So I already kind of went over the possible explanations and stuff, so I'll just kind of let you see it and give you a general feel for it. It's sheltered by this thicker, uh, thicker barrier and then this nice, clean, thinner one and possible sweeps like this and like this, you know, or sculpts. Sculpt maneuvers, potentially. And then a number of channels in the area, which may or may not be modern. Okay. I probably didn't need to show you this, but I guess I'm just giving you a feel for the area. I think I already Gave a tour of this area once before anyways. And we see these streaks or beach ridges, if that's what they are. Word up. Okay. And I think there's something I wanted to show you over here in Nicaragua. What did I want to show? Something. Might take me a minute to find it. Uh, this is just a good idea of like the, the rocks, how the rock can look. Rock or the, the bedrock can have any number of appearances at, at the coastline. Um, I do find it interesting when there's like a, a gap right where the uh, curve seems to continue. Like, or like this maybe. It's, it's quasi suspicious. Okay, and what was I trying to point out here? Oh, I think I wanted to... Like this straight edge here. See this straight edge? These possible natural bedrock, but this, this fairly straight, clean edge is a little awkward. Um, And then bear with me. I'm sorry. I, I can't remember what I wanted to show here. Oh, maybe it was these gouges. Uh, I'm just calling it a gouge, but it just looks like little chunks bitten out of the coast here, like verp, 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 verp. And of course, should be considered in context of these 
apparently natural bedrock layers, which seem to angle there in an interesting way, worth noting. Uh, but these nice clean edges here, and I don't know, looking like something did this. Maybe this, maybe this, maybe this. Okay. And there may, this is an interesting look to it, like this and this here, and also this nice clean one here with this line there seeming to be continuous with that curve. See that sculpt mark? Do we have a sculpt mark here? We might sculpt mark right along here. In Nicaragua. Awesome. Oh, I was I wasn't even pointing that out. I was pointing out uh, this here. That's a little more iffy, but it could be uh, like a discontinuous gap, like a bite, like a chunk out of the coast or a chunk out of the rock. Kind of a messy look to the bedrock here, yeah? Very weird. See almost a cartoonish, like, little trilobed shape here. Kind of similar stuff going on in the surrounding area. All right. Skip that. an interesting change of direction of the bedrock streaks or apparent bedrock streaks. See like this. So this looking just interesting angles here. Interesting positioning. All right. I think we don't probably don't need to look at all this. Um, this area we just have kind of abrupt linear edges to the coast like this. Or, or like get rid of these. Like here, 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 here. Like these linear, like very mechanical edges could be due to the natural bedrock layering the orientation of the bedrock or whatever it's kind of abrupt linear edges there okay i think that's enough of this spot awesome awesome linear linear whatever's okay let's go back to uh preview okay so we take a look at that Okay, let's cruise up to Lake Winnipeg real quick. This is also in Lake Winnipeg. It's a weird island with this. So Lake Winnipeg is up here. Right here in Canada. So here is this thin thing of land. Any number of possibilities. It possibilities, possibilities, again, and including nat very, very many natural explanations. We have these streaks here worth noting. And anything else? These streaks. Um, Okay, so there's not much change to it over the years, as we'll see in the historical photos. All we get is 1984, but it looks roughly the same. Honestly, I don't even know if that's a different photo. But, uh... And then potential sculpted coastline here. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. And here's that little island with the thin strip 
right at the end here. So the idea is like sweep, it's just like a windshield wiper sweep almost, same deal here. And enough said, because I think I've shown that before in a previous video. Uh, or maybe a quick look back in historical photos. 84, not seeing much, but looks roughly the same. Just this this whole uh, portion of the island here looks unnatural to me. Okay. And then one more thing here. These ones, these thin fingers looking a little more natural, like natural spits. I would say there's a chance that they're not, but here they are. I think it's probably, I don't know. I don't know about probably, but it's, there's a good chance it's natural. There's a good chance it's artificial, blah, -de blah, blah. And then we could probably say the same for the rest of the lake as well. It's possible sculpty maneuvers, potential artificial contours and stuff. Okay. See, I just, I just get a vibe. I don't know. I get a vibe when I see these little, these nice little clean bays here. It's just like almost mechanical. Maybe my instincts are wrong on this one, but we will keep it on the table. Okay. And then what else? I think I wanted to show something little on Lake Superior or one of the Great Lakes. Yeah, this whatever Great Lake this is right here. Just this area with um, these islands and then some linear features here. Like this, this finger is a little awkward. And then these possible natural... Uh, seams in the rock however they're just very straight like this guy as we follow it Ugh. and does it continue hard to see maybe another one right here maybe these long seams fairly straight and some of them which are similar in the surrounding area, do uh, meander a bit and cu curve and stuff like this one. So I don't know, we may be seeing sculpting stuff here. Or, or again, the, the natural weird flow of the natural rock, always possible. Possible edge there. And yeah, I think it was just this line in particular is just awkwardly straight. Maybe. Okay. Anything on this island? Nah. Maybe something there, maybe not. All right. Let's cruise on to the next example. So Nova Scotia, Canada, linear edge of coast. So it's this area up north way up here and so we've got what we have this linear edge again the idea of like some kind of sweep and then along the edge here 
maybe something along this here. Maybe just this uh, linear protrusion at the end of a sweep. Possibly. Could be natural. And maybe natural rock layering. Or, yeah, it's worth looking at the natural flow of the rock in the area, obviously. So it could be that. Okay, what else? I had some other place marks. Abrupt linear feature. Let's check it out. So here's the natural flow of the rock. And then here is this linear thing there, which could be a crack or some type of fissure natural thing. It's just worth checking out. All right. Wide gap and faint parallel lines for tool pass. Oh, okay, so by wide gap, I mean like this, like from this edge and this edge here. So like this would be one side of it and this is the other edge of it. So something would go like that, like something wide. Uh, it does look like kind of a, kind of a straight line there. Interesting. It does look kind of uh, like a linear um, chubby bare spot, kind of wide and relative to its length. And then possible, what else? Parallel lines, I'm not seeing the parallel lines, but whatever, skip that for now. Okay. So some possible sculpting on the land here. What do we got? Like, this here. That path. And see this even? Like, uh, that might be natural high tide or something like that. But this is like kind of an angular thing. And then this also. Mm. I could go either way on that. This kind of flows with the natural rock um, orientation. So don't want to get too excited about that one. This one goes against the grain of the natural rock. Doesn't mean it's not natural. It's some kind of natural seam maybe like this. Not necessarily a tool path. Could be similar thing right here, like this way. Okay, I think that's enough of Taylor's Head, Nova Scotia. Awesome. And just a general look at the landscape here. Awesome. So Russia and Alaska, I think are the last two places I wanna check out here. So this, uh, this area in Russia, this is what uh, in the, what, what sea is this? The Black Sea or Caspian Sea, one of those mofos. And uh, it's um, back up here, I believe. Yeah, in this goofy river system, which is phony. I showed you this before. So just cartoonish goofy rivers and then so this whole area would be artificially sculpted in my opinion and then along the coast we have like these angular subtle but these patchy angular aspects here some potential uh image rendering uh issues there as opposed to actual features 
Um, it's angular patches. So it's not quite so clear, actually. I mean, it, it kind of does strike me as like glitchy imageness. Uh, but there may be some angular patchiness to this area. It, again, pretty subtle, but like these and this and stuff like that. So I guess we might call this an artificially sculpted coastline. Okie dokie. Um, let's uh, skip over to Alaska for this last example. And both that last uh, Russia example and Alaska example, I've covered it in previous videos. So if you're underwhelmed by the uh, level of detail I just went into, um, I don't know, maybe check out my previous videos or uh, go check it out yourself on Google Earth. Um, but Alaska, these lines like dirt, like this one extending all the way, just awkward lines everywhere, and these chunky areas. So here we are, Alaska. This would be, um, I guess you would call this a coastline because it's a, uh, a river bank um, and uh, yeah just kind of a river out in the middle of nowhere in Alaska and the idea is this whole landscape is worked over like I've showed in a previous video but just another quick look here, kind of angular, faint chunkiness. If you see like something uh, did something to the land, sculpted it a little bit, um, potentially. And then plenty of lines in the area like this, maybe artificial, this, dirt. Stuff like, hmm, patchy angular maybe, angular patchiness kind of, a little bit potentially, if so then it's pretty strange. Lots of long straight lines in the area, like this guy, see that? Zzz. Kind of strange. And then even these like faint indentations or whatever they are, and this stuff. So little chunky maneuvers. This is right here, linear ravine. We've seen plenty of those. So this river's edge may be uh, edited or manufactured or at least managed. So it could be a natural river or it could be an artificial river. Dur da dur. Even this path may be be something oh, could be a trail or a road I guess okie doke I'm, I'm kind of uh, trying to keep the segments shorter now just to not talk your ear off and not repeat myself too much but um, that is it for this video so uh, I think we will be moving on to the next topic in the next video um, all right Thank you for your time.